I just wanted to say that this this song, Dr. Dre, The Watcher, opening scene, man, that had me straight out. Took me straight back to my car. Welcome. We're Dubai. We're in the house right now. Congratulations to both of you. What an amazing movie. How do you guys feel? I feel great. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling strong. Strong, yeah. happy. I'm glad the world's responding the way the world's responding to it. That means we, you know, you know, you all the way in Dubai, that means it's universal, man. And uh, and the themes that we tried to land, you know, are, are landing. So so that's Thanks for the confirmation. Talking about landing, did any punches really get landed on either of you between the two of you? Yes. Plenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're so close now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Went to war together. About the physicalness of it, you both are in such uh, great shape, man. And just to be able to see you, were you guys competing at all? Were you guys competing when the shirts were coming off? Yeah, but no. It's it's kind of like we, we had roles to you know that we had to play, and not in the, you know not not in the, the obvious sense, but you know you know Dame needed to be a certain way, Adonis needed to be a certain way, and and we a healthy competition is always welcome, you know. Yeah. Like within with I think within the world, so, you know. Speaking of music, Nipsey Hussle, there's a quote from him where he says competition is contrary to creativity. Mm. You know what I mean? And so I think, uh, I don't think there was competition. I think it was us trying to be creative. And as he would, as I would see him do something, it would make sense that I would, I would then take it there, then take it there. And so, uh, yeah, you can say competition, but we were definitely, uh, it was definitely for the same goal. Competition, but not competing. The storyline has been epic. This one was fairly deep, man. It had a great storyline to it. Did you know that, was this sitting in the back of your mind, Michael B. Jordan? Like, did you know this was the storyline a few years back? Not to this degree. I know there was themes and and, and, and emotions that I want to pull on and, 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 think, and, 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 and themes within myself that I wanted to explore uh, and say, but, you know, you know, Ryan Coogler, Keenan Coogler, Zach Balin, you know, incredible writers, you know what I'm saying? They they help pull that, those things out. Um, and, and look, Adonis Creed, Damien represents so many young men that we know, you know, that, that, that exist in that space. And we just wanted to honor their struggle, their arcs, you know, their emotions and explore that and put it up on screen in a way where people can understand that as well. I love it. Creed 3 in theaters. They're wrapping me up. Michael B. Jordan, Jonathan Majors, before I get out of here, let's test you guys out. You buzz in. We're going to ask you a few boxing-related questions. If you know the answer, give them to me. Let's go. What boxing weight is the heaviest? Is it flyweight or featherweight? Uh, flyweight. Yeah. Wait, heaviest? Oh, featherweight. Sorry. Uh, I, thought, I thought you said what was the lightest. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Featherweight. Which boxer stars is pretty Ricky Conlon? Tony Bellew. Bang, that's it, guys. Creed 3 in oh. theaters. Michael B. Jordan. That's it. They're wrapping me up, man. You guys are amazing. Right, bro. Can you come to Dubai? Please. Yes. So, yes. yes. I don't know if I can afford it. No, no, we're going to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, yes, we need, yeah, yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. The Chris Fate Show on Virgin Radio.